You know a lot about dinosaurs. Good job. But there's more to learn. I know, Blaster. With more than 700 different types of dinosaurs, the learning never ends. Some of the dinosaurs were tiny, like this one, but could run really fast. And other dinosaurs had big spikes on their back to protect themselves from predators. Nice. But you know one dinosaur that didn't need much protection from predators? Yeah, it's the T-Rex. One of the biggest, most ferocious carnivores out there. Blaster, he doesn't look that big from up here. Good idea, Blaster. Let's go down to meet this T-Rex and get a closer look. Here we go. This is great, Blaster. Now we can really see how big and how small some of these dinosaurs were, like this one. Meet Comsignathus, or Compi for short. This little guy was the size of a chicken, only about two feet long, tiny, but fierce. Next, we have the speedy, that's right, Blaster, Velociraptor. This clever dino was about the size of a big turkey and six feet long. Not too big, but it sure could run. Whoa, now we're getting bigger. Say hello to the famous Tyrannosaurus Rex. The T-Rex was huge, reaching up to 40 feet long and as tall as a two-story house. But hold on, here's the Brachiosaurus, even bigger. This long-necked dino stretched over 85 feet, and it was as tall as a building. Imagine that. And finally, Argentinosaurus, the biggest of them all. This dino was over 100 feet long and as heavy as 10 elephants. It could barely fit on a football field. That's right, Blaster. One dinosaur down and only 699 more to go. But for our next dinosaur, we're gonna check out an herbivore. An herbivore is an animal that eats plants. And there's a lot of plants here. But you're right, Blaster. I don't see any dinosaurs around here. Whoa, I spoke too soon. Check out this one. Do you know its name? Whoa. If you said Parasaurolophus, you're right. You're super right. Hello, I'm Philip. Oh my gosh, well hi. I'm Baba Blast, and this is the Blaster. Hello, hello, what are you doing out here? Just looking for dinosaurs? Yeah, we're just out here looking for dinosaurs, and you're a cool looking one. Well, thanks. I get that a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Well, if you're looking for dinosaurs, why don't I teach you about me, the great Parasaurolophus? Hmm. Well, what do you say? Would you like that? All right, we're all in. Awesome, let's go. Great, take it away. Here we go. You already know I'm an herbivore, so let's check that off the list and check out this fancy crest on my head. It's like a giant curved horn, and it's not just for show. I use it to make all sorts of sounds. Scientists think I could honk, hoot, and even trumpet like a musical instrument. Pretty cool, huh? I did this. My name, Parasaurolophus, means near crested lizard. Kind of a mouthful, right? So let's just stick with Phil. Oh, and did I mention I was a great swimmer? Yes! My strong legs and tail made me a natural in the water. So when I was on land, I loved splashing around in lakes and rivers. I mean, just think of me as the ultimate dino diver. <laughs> so next time you see a Parasaurolophus, remember, we're the dinos with the coolest crest, the loudest honks, and we know how to make a splash. Give your best dino trumpet sound. You, me, and Blaster, we all have a lot in common. We all love dinosaurs, we know that. But we also live right here on planet Earth. And do you know why we get to live here on planet Earth? Well, that's because it's covered in water. In fact, more than 70% of our world is covered in water. And thank goodness, because without it, I wouldn't be able to live here, you wouldn't be able to live here, and whoa! And this Spinosaurus wouldn't be able to live on Earth either. Wow. 
this Spinosaurus is known to be semi-aquatic. New word alert, new word alert. Did you hear me say the word semi-aquatic? Well, a semi-aquatic animal is an animal that spends some or most of its time in and around water. You know what, Blaster? I was thinking the same thing. The best way to learn about this semi-aquatic dinosaur is to get in the water with it. So what do you say? Grab your blaster and let's go for a swim. Here we go. Ooh, blaster, the water's chilly. Look, there's the Spinosaurus. With its long, narrow snout and sharp cone-shaped teeth, the Spinosaurus was an expert at catching fish. And do you see that sail on its back? That might have worked like a rudder, helping our Spinosaurus friend steer as it moved through rivers and swamps. This dino was perfectly built for water life, with webbed feet and powerful claws for swimming and scooping up prey. Now, as we keep following this incredible swimmer, uh-oh, wait a second. What's that, Blaster? A Mosasaurus. Quick, grab your Blaster, and let's give it all we got. More, Blaster, more. Woo. That was close. Looks like our blast scared it away. Great job, Blaster. Great job, everyone. Anyway, back to our friend, the Spinosaurus. This dino didn't just survive in the water, it ruled it, using its strength and speed to thrive. So next time you're near a river, imagine a Spinosaurus swimming along, king of its watery world. Okay, Blaster, let's head back to the surface. Whoa! That was so fun! We had a blast finding that T-Rex, that Parasaurolophus, and of course, the Spinosaurus. We'll see you on our next... What is this? Blaster! It's a Mosasaurus! I thought we had gotten rid of him. All right, well, with a full power bar, he'll be no match for us. Blaster, give it all you got! Whoa, he's coming strong, Blaster! Blaster, Aqua Force Field! Nice! Now you can't get us, Mosasaurus. Blaster, final, final power! Here we go! Woo! Now we got the Mosasaurus. Woo! We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. If you have a little one that loves Baba -Ba Blast, go to babablast.com and shop toys, apparel, and other merch. Thanks for your support.